हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स लास्ट वीडियो लेक्चर वी हैव टू डिस्कस अबाउट दैट मल्टीप्लेक्शर एंड डी मल्टीप्लेक्शर सर्किट नाउ टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम दी एनकोडर नाउ एनकोडर द डेफिनेशन ऑफ एनकोडर इट इज द कॉम्बिनेशनल सर्किट नेशनल सर्किट दैट कैन बी कन्वर्ट दैट कैन बी कन्वर्टेड टू एन नंबर ऑफ इनपुट lines to m number of number of output and it is also perform the reverse operation of decoder right so dear students so definition of encoder it is a combinational circuit uh, that can be convert the n number of input line to the m number of output line so we can use the different type of the encoder so now the types of encoder so basically we can utilize the four types of the encoder so first one is priority encoder second one decimal to vcd encoder third one octal to binary encoder and last one is hexadecimal to hexadecimal to binary encoder this is the basically four types of the encoder first one is priority encoder uh, second one is decimal to vcd encoder then octal to binary encoder and the last one is hexadecimal to binary encoder this is the basic four types of the encoder now uh, today we are starting from the priority encoders so first one designing the block diagram of the priority encoder this is the priority encoder uh, this is the d0 d1 d2 d3 uh, that is a given to that input signal d0 to d3 and d3 is considered the highest priority and d0 has the lowest priority right and we have to consider the two outputs and this is known as a y1 and y0 right so this is a basic block diagram of the priority encoder and now uh, we can find out the truth table of this priority encoder so here we have to given the four inputs this is the input and this is the output and here we are getting the two outputs this is the input d3 d2 d1 and d0 and the output 
y1 and y0 so we can applying the different possible input combination and uh, we can check about that what we are getting the output to this priority encoder suppose that first one we can applying the all are the zero inputs so that value of each and every input are equals so uh, we cannot uh, predict about the output y1 and y0 so we have to consider as i don't care either it is a y1 is zero or a one similar way y0 is also either zero or a one now uh, next input possible combination suppose that d3 is zero d2 is zero d1 is zero and this one is one right so dear students now d0 is one right so d0 has a lowest priority but the highest priority more than d0 d1 d2 and d3 the value is zero so we have to consider this one so d0 we are getting the output output at the time we can uh, this we have to consider the input so we are getting the output is zero zero because of the weightage of the first bit means y1 is one and the weightage of the second bit of y1 is two right so now next possible combination if zero d3 is 0 this is 0 and d1 is 1 and d0 is either 0 or a 1 uh, that means we have to represent as a don't care if d0 is 0 so we are getting the input signal is 0 0 1 0 if d0 is 1 uh, that means we are getting the input signal is 0 0 1 1 but in both the case we are getting the same output because of the d1 has a highest priority than d0 right so d1 is highest priority so we have to consider this input and in according to that input we are getting the output so weightage of the first bit is 1 right this y1 is 1 so we are considering this one is 1 and this one is 0 <laughs> now next input possible combination if d3 is 0 and d2 is 1 then whatever the value of d1 as well as d0 so we are considering either 0 or 1 because of d2 has a highest priority than d1 and d0 right we have to given this is the order d0 has a lowest priority and d3 is a highest priority so d2 is more priority than d0 and d1 if the d2 is 1 so at that time we cannot uh, calculate about the either d1 is 0 or a 1 or a d0 is either 0 or a 1 so we are considering the output according to that d2 signal uh, this is the input d2 right so weightage of the second bit is 1 so output is this one is 1 and this one is 0 and the last input possible combination if d3 is 1 right because of d3 is the highest priority so whatever the next bit are either 0 or a 1, d2 is 0 or a 1, d1 is also 0 or a 1, or d0 is also 0 or a 1. But the input d3 is selected, so we are getting the output d3. So this one, the weightage of this first bit y0 is 1, and this weightage of the next bit y1 is a 2, like 1 plus 2, 3, right? So both are the 1, 1. So this is the truth table of the priority encoder. We are always considering the highest priority. Right. So now using this truth table, uh, we can designing the KMAP and find out the characteristic equation. And then using this characteristic equation, we can designing the circuit diagram of priority encoder. So we are how many inputs variable are given? One, two, three, and four. We can designing the four variable KMAP for this output y1 as well as y0. The first one is uh, that equation is y0. The first bit is D3, D2, D1 and D0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1 and 1, 0. Right? This is the equation of Y0 and then Y1. Again, we can designing the 1, 4 variable KMA. Uh, D3, D2, D1, D0. 
जीरो 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 वन 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 जीरो 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 वन 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 एंड वन जीरो राइट सो वाई वन नाउ वी कैन एलोकेट दी वाई जीरो वेर एवर वी आर गेटिंग द वाई जीरो सो फर्स्ट पॉसिबल इज दिस वन सो इफ ऑल इनपुट आर जीरो जीरो एट द टाइम वाई जीरो इज डोंट केयर कंडीशन सो जीरो जीरो एंड जीरो जीरो सो दिस सेल इज सिलेक्टेड नाउ नेक्स्ट इज वन सो वन मीन्स जीरो जीरो the first row zero zero right so we have to consider this row and the input d1 is always fix one the value of d1 is one so this column and this column will be considered right but the value of d0 is don't care means either we are zero or a one right so first one is zero so at the time we have to consider this cell and second one is one so we have to consider the this cell Uh, now uh, we can check about the next. This one is red, right? So in this case, the D3 is one. Only one parameter are there. A D3 is one. The D2 is either zero or a one. D1 is also zero or a one, and D0 is also zero or a one. D3 is one. So we, are, dear students, we are considering the which cell at the value of D3 is one. So here is one, right? So in all the cell, D3 is one, right? and next one is here is also one so all the cell is considering the one right so we can allocate the every one because of this number of eight cell are the value of d3 are one right so now we can check about that <laughs> how we find out the equation of y0 so first one we can check if the, we are getting the continuously 16 one or not so is it not possible so now check about that octal is possible or not so this octal is possible and then uh, next octal is possible no then we can check about the square so here we are getting the one square so this one is square so one octal and one square so first one write the equation for the octal so value of d3 is always one D two is here one and here zero. There will be change. D one is zero and here one difference. D zero is also zero and one difference plus. Now write the equation for this square. The value of D three is for this one is one and zero. That will be difference. D two is zero. So D two bar into D one here is always one and D zero will be difference. now uh, for this equation is y1 right so now y1 so here we are getting the don't care condition all the input are zero now next possible input combination y1 this one is one right at the time d3 is zero d2 is one so d3 is zero one this row is selected and the d1 and d2 are both are the don't care so we can select as a one 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 and one, right? Because of the here the this row is considered the value of d three zero and d two is one, right? So now consider the next one. This one is one. So that here the d three is one. The remaining all the cell are I don't care condition. So that means either it is a zero or a one. So in which cell we are considering the value of D three is one. Here is one, and here is one. So this row is selected, and this row is also selected. So now uh, find out the characteristic equation. So here we are getting the one octal, and this one is second octal. So equation of y one. So for this octal, uh, the D three is same. and for this octal the value of d2 is always same so this we are getting the two characteristic equation uh for this encoder priority encoder now we can using this two equation and we can designing the circuit diagram so this equation is y0 uh, d3 plus d2 bar into d1 
and y1 equal to d3 plus d2 right so using this equation we can designing the priority encoder so first one for this uh, y1 so y1 is d2 plus d3 so addition operation can be performed by using a which get or get so this is the y1 and y1 equal to d3 plus d2 and the in input is given d3 and d2 uh, this is the d3 and this is the d2 right so now uh, find out the y0 so first one we can perform the multiplication multiplication can be done through and get so d2 bar we can applying the one not get and the external signal uh, this is the given is d1 and the resultant signal uh, that can be given to that or get with d3 and this is the y0 and y0 so equation is d3 plus d2 bar into d1 so this is the uh, circuit diagram of priority encoder now similar way we can designing the uh, this is the remaining three encoder octal to binary hexadecimal to binary and the next one uh, this is the decimal to bcd encoder suppose that we can designing the octal to binary encoder so in this circuit diagram uh, we have to consider the octal input octal means uh, we can use the eight input signal so first one we can designing the block diagrams octal to binary encoder and this is the input d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 d7 right and these are the considering the output output is binary so b0 b1 b2 right this is the basic uh, circuit diagram of octal to binary encoder now we can designing the truth table of octal to binary encoder so here we are considering the eight input d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 and d7 and outputs and the output Uh, b0 b1 and b2 correct so first one is if d1 is 1 the remaining are 0 this so that uh, we are getting the output all the are 0 because of the weightage of first bit is 1 weightage of this bit is 2 and weightage of this bit is 4 1 2 and 4 right so now uh, if the input is 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 right so that uh, we are getting the output 1 0 0 0 if 0 0 1 0 
as 0 this is the input combination so here we are getting the input is d2 is 1 right so weightage of this second bit second bit is 1 so this is the output possible combination so now next input possible combination so this is the 3 3 is 2 plus 1 right but then 0 0 0 0 1 4 4 means first bit is uh, this bit th third bit is weightage of third bit is 4 0 0 0 then 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 so 4 plus 1 1 0 1 this is the 5 The next input possible combination D6 is 1, right, 6 means 4 plus 2, this bit weightage is 4 and this bit weightage is 2. And the last option is if the D7 is 1, so this is 0, this is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 and 0. So that's 7, 4 plus 2 plus 1, this is the 4. 2 and 1. So this is the truth table of this octal to binary encoder. Now using this truth table we can directly uh, designing the circuit diagram. So first one is B0. So in this B0 where we are getting the 1? This is the 1. Right? So at the time the value of which bit input is high, only one input, this is the D4 plus. Next one is this one. So at the time which input is high, D5. The next one is this one. At the time which input is higher, this one. So value of is D6 plus. Next one is this and the when is this one. So this is the D7. Now next bit B1 for this one this one is 1 so the value of 1 is D2 then this one is 1 the value of D3 then this one is 1 the value is D6 and this one is 1 value of D7 and last one is B2. Right. So that for this one B2 is 1, the value is D1 plus this one is 1, D3, this one is 1, D5, this one is 1, D7. So this is the three equation of octal to binary encoder. So now using this equation uh, we can designing the circuit diagram of octal to binary encoder. So for the B0, B1 and B2 every time we have to perform the addition operation. So addition operation can be performed with the OR gate. So we can apply the 3 OR gate. Right. So first one is B2, B1 and B0. For this B2, uh, we can apply in the, the first bit is D1, then D3. Uh, this is the D3, then D5, D5 and D7. This is the D7, right? Now B1, B1 uh, we can apply in the D2, D3, D3 is given to that B2, so directly we are considering here.
right this one is considered d6 is not given to here and d7 is given d7 is this one now external we can do applying uh, d6 and d2 uh, this is the d2 and then d6 this is the d6 right so this is a, and now b0 b0 is d4 d4 is not given to that this is the given to that externally this is the d4 now d5 uh, d5 is given to that first bit uh, this is the d5 d5 is given d4 is given then d6 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 is also given to that and d7 this is the d7 so this is the equation sir uh, of circuit equation of octal to binary encoder and this is the circuit diagram of octal to binary encoder so similar way we can designing the hexadecimal to binary encoder if we can designing the hexadecimal to binary encoder at the time hexadecimal can be represented with the 16 bit so we are considering the 2 raised to 4 so we can applying the 16 different input and we are considering the 4 output b0 b1 b2 and b3 so here we have to considering the 16 input d0 to d15 and output b0 to b4 and we are getting the four equation b0 b1 b2 and b3 and according to that equation we can designing the circuit diagram of hexadecimal to binary encoder so dear students uh, if the exam point of view we can discuss about this encoder so generally that can be asked in the seven marks uh, if uh, that can be asked that can define encoder and explain the working of encoder at the time you have to give on the definition of encoder and then you can explain in the any one encoder out of the four encoders if uh, the examiner can be asked is the particular for either you can explain the tell to binary encoder at the time we have to explain the particular encoder